Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can install Laravel with the help of her tool. First question you can ask there like what is the her tool, how we can use it. We'll discuss about this. After that, we'll learn how we can install this her tool. We will create Laravel project with the help of this tool. And after installation, we'll check this project is working fine or not. We'll make some file changes and again we'll check everything is working fine or not. And at last we'll discuss some important interview question also. Alright. So let's move back to our first question. What is hurt? See, this is a tool which is provided by the Laravel and this make Laravel project creation really easy because it will automatically install PHP, Composer, uh, Laravel package and many more things automatically that we need before uh, creating the Laravel project, right? So if we are not installing this tool, then we have to manually install the Composer, PHP and Laravel global package and all, right? But uh, this her tool will install them all automatically and it, it can just create Laravel project uh, with the single click you can say that all right we'll see that how we can create uh, so easily so now let's open a new tab in chrome tool and uh, just search for laravel 11 or laravel getting started anything that uh, uh, which is land you to on the getting started pages so just click on the getting started installation and uh, then let's move back uh, move down and you will find there uh, this laravel hard thing right like php and composer can be installed in a minutes with the help of this laravel hard so just click over there and now you will redirect it to the different page and just simply on the one click download for windows it will start uh, downloading the setup so i already uh, downloaded this setup so i'm just cancelling it and opening the setup which i previously downloaded right and just uh, double clicking over there and this will start uh, installing and then we'll click on the yes button and it will just take a few moments to install to so hard installation is finished we can click on the finish button after that uh, in your windows search just search for the hard tool right and click over it after that it will just available inside your dock bar and again click over there and now you will find there are lots of options like dashboard uh, php node and service and lots of things so we'll discuss all of these things but first let's see how we can create a new project with this one more thing now if you will open your command line so let me open the command prompt there and you will just search for composer this is also get got installed php minus v php is latest version laravel minus v laravel is latest version everything is installed right so just close it and go to the sites and there with the help of this a plus button we can create a new project so there are some options no starter kit laravel breeze and laravel jet stream so for now we'll go uh, without any starter kit so click on the next and you can put their project name let's say i'm putting their demo project or anything and you can select your testing framework if you want and uh, then you can click on the next and again it will hardly takes few moments to install this project right and where this will install uh, we just give the path for uh, this hard and then this demo project there this is getting installed right so let's wait for some moments Alright, so hard is uh, installed and our project is also created. Now you can close it and here you can see that project URL. You can click on this uh, button to open it in the browser. So let's click over there and you can see that our project is running there. Alright, so if you just want to open it in the terminal, then this is, you can do that. Just click on this command line like this, right? So let me open this pro, uh, project in the VS code. So I'm opening their command prompt and clicking over the code dot. So this command will open our project in the uh, Visual Studio code, right? Here we go. So now you can see that all of the files there. So let's try to make any change inside our resource view 
and this is play dot welcome dot play dot php so i am just removing all of this code and creating just simple one h1 tag there and with this i am putting there hello laravel 11 and now you can refresh it and see the changes this is working fine right so everything is working fine there but there is a disadvantage also which is uh, so whenever we are uh, learning laravel or creating any project most probably we have to use other uh, database also but with this tool we cannot install mysql database or any other database freely because if you just go to the services this is the pro version which asks for obviously uh, premium subscription so with that you can install the database and all but without that you cannot install so either you have to install mysql separately or you can directly install the uh, you can say that xamp that will also automatically install the mysql and php admin all right that's all for this part if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thanks guys thank you so much